What up guys, it's Bill Mod 68.2. I had to make a video because I felt that this whole bullshit with the riots and stuff is, is kind of ridiculous. Um, first, let me say that the video I saw of what happened to George Floyd, it, it touched a nerve. It just did. You know, I, I know everybody thinks I'm a racist and everything like that, but I'm not, and nobody deserves to die like that. Um, with that being said, I also do not see the point in all these protests that are turning violent. I understand everybody wants to protest. I get that. You know, they should protest, but not burning down people's shit. You know, and what's worrying me is, you know, after they're done burning down this shit and there's nothing left in the cities to burn down, what are we going to do when they start burning down our houses, our cars, shit like that? We're, we're going to be fucked up. Um, you know, if COVID didn't destroy our economy, this certainly is, is going to, um, I understand why people are upset, but you know what? All this burning and, and looting isn't going to change anything. It, it just, unfortunately, the guy has died, um, and it's not going to bring him back. And if you look from history in the 60s, even in the 90s, Did any of us remember the riots from the 90s? Like, it, prior to George Floyd's death, who was thinking about those those riots? I wasn't. Unless they show a special on TV. And in a month or two, this all come to pass, too. But what really fucks me up and hits home is, you know, I see these truck drivers... You know, getting swarmed by protesters. And the only thing I could say is if somebody or a bunch of people try dragging me out of my truck, swarming my truck, I'm putting that motherfucker in gear and I'm hammering down. And whatever happens, happens. You know, and that ain't me talking tough. That That's just me being real. You know, because at the end of the day, my... My duty is to go home to my family, you know. Um, I'm not going to be drugged out of my truck, you know, and beat to death because they think that's justice, you know. Well, guess what? <laughs> it's not going to happen with me. You know, maybe I, I still will get dragged out of my truck and, and, you know, killed like that. But a couple of them motherfuckers are going with me. I'll tell you that right now. And I will not hesitate. Whatever happens down the line happens down the line. But, you know, if you're looking to do me harm and, you know, stuff like that, then guess what? It is what it is. You know, then you're going to suffer the consequences. And that's it. Um, I understand people's right to protest. I get it, and I agree with that. I don't agree with the looting. I don't agree with the violence, you know. Believe me, I get it. A lot of cops are assholes nowadays, a lot of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And I know some very, you know, pretty good dudes that are cops that'll give you the shirt off their back, you know. But I also know a few that they womanize, and, you know, they have an attitude problem, you know. Um, but nobody has the right to burn down other people's shit and cause violence and shit like that. Nobody has that fucking right. And, you know, I make payments on my truck. So I will defend my truck because that's my business. 
You know, just like these small business owners. I will defend my business to the end. I put a lot of money into it. But I'm not going to die. You know, or at least I'm going to try not dying. But, you know, this is all going to cost us loads, you know, and everything else because of all the, all the uh, cities that are getting shut down. Eventually, it's going to cost us loads. But that's why I had to come on here and, and, and say that, you know. I mean, I, I feel bad for George Floyd's family and what they're going through. I think it was horrendous what that cop did. Uh, the backstory that I've heard on that is that they worked at a nightclub together doing security. I don't know if it was over money. I don't know if it was over a woman. But, you know, it's, it's, this is too much destruction right now. And like I said, if people bring that destruction to the cities, pretty soon they're going to bring it to the neighborhoods. And when that happens, you're going to have, you're going to have big problems, big problems. Um... I don't, I really don't know what to say. I mean, this does remind me of the riots of the 90s, um, which a lot of you probably don't remember. You know, some of you are in your late 20s, 30s. You really don't remember it. I do. And that was an ugly time. And I remember... Yeah, you know, I was way before I ever thought about becoming a truck driver that Reginald Denny got dragged out of his truck. I don't know if they beat him to death or they beat him with almost to death. And I'm not going out like that. I guarantee you I will put that motherfucker in gear and I will fucking I will fucking drive over who I have to drive over to get out of that situation. You know, um, but I will also do my best if I know that there's protesters five, ten miles ahead of me, I'm going to go 50 miles out of my way to avoid them, to avoid that whole thing, you know, because um, I don't want to put myself in that situation. And that's the way I hope some of you guys think, too. Don't don't try and be a hero by, you know, thinking you're going to make the news in a good way by mowing down protesters because. That ain't going to happen. I understand why those guys did what they did. The guy in the FedEx truck and the other guy, the guy in the tanker, I heard, uh, I heard a couple different things. So I really don't know what's the truth, but if I'm on a route and out of nowhere, protesters just come out. Like if I'm stopped at a light and protesters just come out, well, then it's unforeseeable. And they start swarming my truck and they start banging on my doors and breaking my windows with bricks. Guess what? Like I said before, I'm putting that motherfucker in gear and I'm fucking hammering down. Whatever happens, happens. If I go to jail, I go to jail. But the, at the end of the day, I'm going to get out. They'll be dead because they did something stupid. Just saying. You know, uh, the point to all this, to all this violent these violent protests, I don't get it. You know, it's just like people were going ape shit over statues and rebel flags and, and stuff like that. You know, this, I understand why they're doing this, you know, but the violence at the end of the day is proving nothing. It just proves you're a thug, man. That's all, it, it's all it is. And that you can steal people's shit. That's, that's what it's proven. I don't know what else to say. I mean, like, I, I'll reiterate again. I'm sorry that George Floyd died. I'm sorry, definitely the way he died, that his family had to see that. But to the protesters out there, this is not helping anything. It's not helping one thing. Because like it or not, you're still going to have asshole cops. You're still going to have police brutality. And I don't care what color you are. 
it happens. You know, um, we can try and teach the officers to better do better policing. Um, but we all know in the end, in two months, nobody's going to remember this. And that sounds bad, I know, but it's true. But nobody's going to remember this. They're going to go on about their daily lives, you know, go back to school, go back to work, whatever. And that's unfortunate. You know, but like to George Floyd's family, they have to live with that pain forever. To all the people that are getting affected by these violent protesters, those people are going to have to live with it forever. You know, and I do believe there are agitators out there that are sent in from other countries. I don't think that's a conspiracy theory. I think that's the truth because, you know, these terrorists are just looking for a time to shine and they found one. They found one, and they're going to do as much damage as they can to our economy, to just, you know, cities, just all-out damage, period. And, uh, you know, I, I'm embarrassed as an American because of the way people are, you know, conducting themselves. Um you know, we're supposed to be like the leader of the world and this is the image we're projecting. And uh, I understand why people are upset. I don't want people to think I don't. I understand why they're upset, but this is not helping nothing. You're just destroying America. That's all you're doing. And I hope it stops very soon. I really do. Uh, I think the economy and people as a whole in this country have been through enough with COVID and everything. And it, it's it's just got to come to an end. It just has to. And that's all I got to say. So, you know, I hope the protesters understand that with every action gets a reaction. You know, so think before you do something, especially in front of an 80,000 pound vehicle. You know, um... Because we're not driving Fiats out there. We're driving 80,000 pound vehicles that do not stop on a dime. You know? And you guys have all taken the seat to the truckers out there. You've all taken your CDL courses. You know how many football fields it takes to stop. Okay? When you're fully loaded. All right? I actually forget. <laughs> I think it's like two or three football fields to stop. And uh, depending on your speed, of course. And, uh, you know, these protesters have to think like that, you know. You, and, and they're trying to stop these trucks. And they're just trying to steal shit out the back. Well, you don't know if that truck has hazardous materials on it. And if you touch it, you could burn yourself. You could have, you could be touching acid. You don't know what the fuck you're touching, you know? But one thing's for sure, like I said, and I'm going to leave it at this, too. At the end of the day, I will be alive. So, to the protesters out there, don't do anything stupid against truckers. Because you're going to come out on the losing end of the stick. That's all I got to say.